we left Noosa at 5 a.m. this morning, woke up at 4 a.m. We catch a ferry at 8 a.m. to... Morton Island! Yay! <laughs> um, yeah, and that's actually our first YouTube video, so it's, uh, it's a little bit stressy, but it will be exciting. Um, we'll be uh, going to Morton for about a week. Yeah, and, and uh, hopefully we're gonna find some epic campgrounds. Yeah, some surf, hopefully. Hopefully, yeah. if there's any surf. And lots of camping, barbecuing. Uh, Snorkeling at the Tangaluma wrecks. Yes. And then campfires. Campfires. There's also a few hikes around, lookouts, sand hills. So I would always recommend that. Check Driving, the tide times. Yeah, when it's low tide. A lot of people don't even realize it, but believe me, if you're driving on the right side, it's, it's, so it's sand. just no fun. This is the highway. This is this perfect. Is Is that a magic word? Oh, me b knife. <laughs> that was a uh, bumpy. How is this for a spot? Turns back up. 
You like it? It's pretty good, eh? Huh? Really? Look at that. No one. Just a boat. And then in the back, you probably can't see it. You actually see the Glasshouse Mountains. So yeah, a couple of other campgrounds over there. This lost little Labrador over here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> have a slow morning today. Slow tide at 11 a.m. so we actually have plenty of time just to have a coffee, some breakfast and then we head to Cape Martin for the you. day. bigger I reckon it's a, it's a, it's a whale. just arrived a minute ago and we have whales. It's awesome! Guess what we're doing? Surfing!
go. Find your little wife. Nice what a spot! Just arrived at North Forest Campground. Just gonna have a look around and um, walk to the beach. Okay. Don't be such a baby. It's funny because we actually have a hot water shower in the camper trailer. <laughs> Yeah, but well, we just went for a surf, so it's just to get rid of the salt water. <laughs> oh. Bye bye. <laughs> Honeymoon Bay. Yeah. On our way to Honeymoon Bay. Almost there. It's a 500 meter walk. I would say about five minutes, maybe 10 minutes. Nothing. But the view, guys, honestly, it's incredible. open? Ah, oh, so on a high tide. Look at that. It's like a hidden, hidden beach on a high tide. It's beautiful. Lighthouse in the back. It is beautiful. Welcome to Champagne Pools! Ooh. This is amazing! I reckon it's building up. It's building up!
that's a wrap for today. Glass House Martin's on the left, Sunset's on the right. Mozzie's going out. Mozzie's coming out. <laughs>
and then we watched the sunrise this morning there, Honeymoon Bay. And then now we took this inland trek and we'll go today all the way to the Blue Lagoon. See how much time we spent there because then the idea is to go all the way to the middle road and drive back to the east side to watch the sunset at night. Coffee. Sun's coming out, so uh, hopefully that will warm up a little bit. So today we plan on going to the shipwrecks and go snorkeling. We really hope that the wind will drop. The wind will drop and uh, it's like it's a little bit overcast, but uh, it'll be fine. It's always better when you go snorkeling uh, when the weather is perfect because uh, the, the more out, sun, you see more. Clearer the water. Yeah. So uh, we'll see how we go. It'll be fun, no? Yeah, looking we'll forward the, to it. We'll grab the Patriot as well. So uh, we'll set up right yeah. next to the shipwrecks. And we're gonna have lunch after a snorkel. Yeah. He's going 
going for a run. <laughs> Don't do this on Fraser. Yeah, if you do that on Fraser, <laughs> you'll be in the news. <laughs> because of that. You just ship Can you see the shipwrecks? Oh yeah. So where are we gonna set up? Snorkeling. See you. Oh. How good was that? Oh, that was so much fun. Time for lunch. Have a home? Yeah. Time for home. Magic bacon. We found the most epic campsite. It will just be really tricky to get there. I'm just gonna check it out. Hopefully we can make it. You see this beautiful creek here. But yeah, we also have to get out. Tonight I'm making campfire bread on a stick. It's actually super easy. It's a recipe that I found on Instagram and you can prepare everything at home. All you need is all-purpose flour, some yeast and sugar. You put it in a zip bag and once you're ready you can just add olive oil and some warm water. Just mix it together, knead the dough in the bag and then just let it sit for about an hour and then you can put it on a stick, hold it above the campfire and you have campfire bread on a stick. A bit stuck here this morning um, because of a king tide, 2.1 meter. Uh, if you look at the creek in the back, it sort of almost washed away completely. Came okay, pretty close to the campground, uh, but I guess we have to wait another two hours, maybe three hours, till low tide, and then we can uh, start moving.
kookaburras. Ah! Just got our bacon. <laughs> right off the f***ing... Look at this. <laughs> so we just got our bacon. The kookaburras. I reckon they've been waiting for this the entire morning. <laughs> Sam's not happy. Not happy. <laughs> bacon gone. We only have one bacon left. <laughs> so I was checking to see if we can make it out of this campsite. Yeah, because of a king tide yesterday, we actually uh, lost about a meter. Um, so that means a meter of entrance uh, to our campground. So now we only have, I don't know, two meters to get out with Not a big much. drop. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's quite yeah, challenging. It'll be interesting. to Mount Tempest to do a hike. It's apparently like a two hour hike, quite steep, but apparently the view is amazing. Cool. Let's uh, do an exercise, I guess. Yeah, we've been eating really eating badly. <laughs> so I think bad. it will be good. And we want to go to the gutter bar on the island, so we need to burn some calories. Yeah, we definitely need to uh, go for a workout. <laughs> on the road with a motorbike So we have to um, park here. Let's do this. Two hours. Return. Ooh, stick. Yeah, you can walk with a stick. <laughs> Sam, how are you going? Still happy? Still happy. <laughs> once, once you start sweating. Not happy anymore. I'm gonna fly the drone in a minute because you need to see this from a bird's eye, I would say. Absolutely stunning. We made it to the top. Yes! And it was only 20, maybe 30 minutes getting here, so it's an hour return, not yeah. more than that. But it was fun. Beautiful. I wouldn't do it in 40 degrees, um, but it was, it was fun. It was really fun. But oh, the view, the view is amazing. The view is just stunning. Just enjoy it. Grabbing fish and chips now. Yes, we go to the gutter bar. Gutter bar, so it will be probably an hour drive or something. Yeah, I think we're just gonna drive south on the east coast because we're really close to the east side. Drive all the way down to the inland track from Kuringal. Oh, look at this. This is just a highway. Yeah. And it's dropping even further the tide. It's yeah. going to 0 0.1. Yeah. So uh, that's that's very low. That's perfect. This is 
uh, I mean, this looks so tropical. <laughs> Look at that, the gutter bar. Is it as good as they say? It's yum. yum. What did you buy? So we don't starve to death. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be such a long ride. We need lollies. What a delicious light lunch. <laughs> Not gonna eat again today. What? Seriously? Bring fuel, bring, bring extra fuel. fuel. No petrol station. Yeah, uh, I can imagine in summer when the sand gets hot, it's really tricky, especially with the trailer. Yes, it's not Get easy. Your recovery gear. Uh, yeah, recovery gear. <laughs> and don't come alone then. And don't come alone. Don't <laughs> take do someone it. with you. Yeah, take There's a recovery with you. vehicle. Um, what else? It's a small island, so I can imagine in summer if it gets busy, then it's busy everywhere. Mm -hmm. Especially in the inland track again, then you have a lot of traffic coming through. So also know that there's no internet reception or mobile coverage on the north and the east. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's a good one as well. South was and quite similar. Sometimes that's a good thing. I loved it. Yeah, but and actually yeah, love if you <laughs> if you need mobile coverage, yeah. then that might. I saw be a lot issue. of people fishing. Um, we didn't go fishing, but I reckon it's a really good spot to go fishing. Um, what else? I reckon that's about it. No, a lot of fun. A lot of four-wheel drive yeah. tracks. Inland, like so, you have beach driving, inland treks, um, and the shipwrecks, snorkeling. <laughs> How can we forget? <laughs> shipwrecks, well, but everyone knows. Yeah. <laughs> 